yeah so hello everyone welcome to today's video today we're going to continue our journey on safe today's topic is lean agile leadership as part of agile and leadership service let me start with a quote from edwards demi it is not enough that management commit themselves to quality and productivity they must know what they must do such a responsibility cannot be delegated right this this statement emphasizes the importance of the leadership right lean agile leadership is a competency one of the seven competencies that required to build business agility of our organization or of your company lean agile leadership competency helps lean agile leaders to drive and sustain organizational change operational excellence by empowering individuals and teams to reach their highest potential right so four important emphasis is given on driving and sustaining organizational change it's not about only driving it is about sustaining as well right and second thing is operational excellence these are the goals you want to you know you want to drive your organization how do you do that by empowering your teams your employees to reach their highest potential right why we need lean agile leaders in organization we understand that lean agile leadership is one of the competencies that drives the business agility what is the way in which leaders lean agile leaders are going to play around in your portfolio or projects or in an organizational change right they will organize and reorganize around value so your company should be organized and it should be reorganized when i say reorganized it is about responding to the market changes so whenever the market changes customer needs are changing you have to reorganize your value stream so it's not only about organizing it is about organizing as well as reorganizing around the values so all your projects all your portfolios need to align with the value stream and you should provide a you know, particular business value to your customers and you should be able to align and realign with the different changes coming on the way so that's very important identify queues and access work in progress so you can use something like wap limits in a compound continuously focus on eliminating waste and delays very very important in lean uh, thinking eliminate demotivating policies and procedures right challenge the status quo is very very important inspire and motivate others and create a culture of relentless improvement and provide the space for the teams to innovate so these are the reason why we need lean agile leaders what are their you know key areas to focus is been displayed here so coming to lean agile leadership as a core competency which you need for a business agility it has three dimensions lean agile leadership has three dimensions it starts with leading by example right leading with authenticity growing others right lifelong learning so these are the some of the examples areas of leading by example the second area is mindset and principles having a growth mindset how to apply the core values and lean agile mindset and safe principles right how do we follow that how do we educate others very important and leading the change right changing the vision taking the team with along with the vision right training coalition for change providing a psychological safety all these coming under leading the change so three these are the three dimensions of three areas of focus when it comes to lean agile leadership let's talk about the first one is leading by example 
I would like to give a couple of quotes, one from Einstein, another one, another one from Simon Sinek. Setting an example is not the main means of influencing others. It is the only means, that's what says by Albert Einstein. Simon Sinek says that the leaders of companies set the tone and direction for the people. Hippocrates, liars and self-interested leaders create cultures filled with Hippocrates, liars and self-interested employees. Right? So what do you drive is what do you, you people become. The leaders of companies who tell the truth in contrast will create a culture of people who tell the truth. It is not rocket science. We follow the leader, right? The leaders of the company has to talk about, has to emphasize on the truth, ethics, and then, you know, then automatically you'll create the culture of the similar people who tell the truth, right? Who maintain integrity is very, very important. Right? So another aspect of leading by example is modeling the mindset, modeling the behavior. There are a number of ways you can model it, you know, pathological, it's power oriented modeling, bureaucratic, rule oriented modeling. The generative one is the rightly fitting for lean agile leadership. What are the Focus areas in generative or performance oriented culture modeling is high cooperation, messengers are trained, you know, you have to train our change leaders, responsibilities are shared, collaboration is encouraged, failure leads to improvement, innovation implemented. So these are the modeling of behavioral modeling of generative and performance oriented culture right so lean agile leaders should focus on this type of model rather than using a bureaucratic or pathological ones right there are five aspects in leading by example leading by authenticity so authenticity requires leaders to model desired professional and ethical behaviors. Acting with honesty, integrity, and transparency, they are true to themselves and their beliefs. It's very, very important. Leading with authentic. Emotional intelligence. How leaders identify, manage their emotions. How they empathize the customer, how they motivate their employees. Their, how do you employ your interpersonal skills? to have the power of violation, right? All this comes part of the emotion, emotional intelligence. Clean agile leaders should be lifelong learning people, right? How the leaders engage in ongoing, voluntary and self-motivated pursuit of knowledge and growth is very, very important. You don't need someone to motivate you, you know, to acquire knowledge and become a, you know, multifaceted or someone. So you have to be self-motivated, you have to be voluntary and in pursuit of knowledge and growth and they also encourage the similar behavior in others growing others helping others to grow by increasing the levels of responsibility and decision making right it's very very important and the final one is, is decentralized decision making decentralized decision making is that you know, it takes authority for the decisions to where the information is right so local players and local leaders take the decisions locally, right? That's where decentralized decision making comes into play. You can save a lot of time. You can improve the you know, morale of the teams. You can improve the autonomy and mastery. Very, very important. So these are the five aspects of leading by example. Authenticity, emotional intelligence, lifelong learner, growing others, decentralized decision making. Right. The second dimension of lean agile leadership is mindset and principles. We also discussed yesterday about fixed mindset and growth mindset. The mindset you need to carry is the growth mindset and you have to influence the growth mindset with others as well. Principles involve core values, 
lean agile mindset and safe principles what is a growth mindset i would like to try new things i am inspired by success of others my effort and attitude determined by abilities failure is an opportunity to grow challenges help me grow i can learn to do anything i want feedback is constructive right so these are the ways in which a person of growth mindset will have that behavior modeling right so as a leader you need to have a growth mindset you need to impart a growth mindset for your leaders of next level and subsequent levels as well so developing a new mindset involves in applying and practicing and believing core values and lean agile mindset and applying the principles right leaders behaviors play a critical role in communicating exhibiting and emphasizing these values and they guide how they guide the organization in journey is emphasizing the agility so here are the you know some of the suggestions given in safe is there are we know that there are four core values of safe alignment built in quality transparency and program execution how uh, lean agile leaders can reinforce these values what are the actions they can carry out right communicating the mission i mean establishing the expressing the portfolio strategy and solution vision is very very important aligning the entire so your team members to a big picture you know provide later briefings and participate in program increment planning help with backlog visibility review and preparation regularly check for understand so this is where these are the ways in which we can reinforce the alignment how do we reinforce the built in quality just to refuse to accept or ship low quality work because lean agile leaders demonstrate their commitment to qualities right the transparency how do i reinforce the value of transparency visualize all the relevant work use kanban boards you know information radiators take ownership and responsibility for errors and mistakes right very very important accept that mistake take it forward have a forward thinking right the final value is the program execution so how do you reinforce the program execution as a leader you need to participate as a business owner in pre execution establish business value it's very very important so as a leader you cannot avoid you know or being distant to the program execution it might be at strategic level it might be at you know group level or you know global level but you need to participate in program execution your presence is very important right in establishing the business value you know supporting the execution celebrating the high quality program increments right so very very important right so lean agile mindset is another area we already discussed in my uh, yesterday's video right so lean agile leaders em embrace the house of lean right leadership is the foundation of safe house of lean and they also religiously follow and take the team with agile manifesto we also discussed about safe principles in my safe principles we had a separate video as well right so we also talked about 10 principles you can refer my 
yesterday's video on safe principles so these are the three principles we talk about you know safe principles safe values and safe house of lane and agile manifesto so these are the principles and it have a growth mindset as well the third principle or third dimension of lean agile leadership is leading the change it's very very important lean agile leaders drive the change process by developing and applying the following skills and techniques right following five skills and techniques they'll try to apply in change management process the first skill set of technique is a change vision leaders communicate why the change is needed what is in it for as an employer or as an individual team member right communicate them how they are contributing to the organization business agility what is the purpose and benefit it brings to the table if i embrace this particular change it's about you know building a change vision and communicating it right and providing a change leadership it's your ability to positively influence and motivate others it's very very important all right in building a powerful coalition of change you need to you need to build a powerful coalition of change right when you empower individuals you know from multiple levels of different functions right psychological safety give them the team that risk taking ability and support them setting the right hypothesis making them to fail how that having multiple options in hand ask them to try multiple things right taking the fear from their side for any negative consequences of Now, taking a risk right so that's very important training the new ways of working you need to train your people in the new values safe values safe principles practice of lean agile you have to train them in lean thinking and system thinking and all right so this is very very important these are the five skills and techniques a lean agile lean lean agile leader need to embrace in leading changes right clean agile leaders can also take change management model provided by john coacher john coacher provides eight steps in implementing successful change safe implementation roadmap you now takes that idea from this eight steps the eight steps are establishing a sense of urgency create a, a guiding coalition develop the vision and strategy for change communicate the change vision right very very important you need to develop the vision and you have to communicate the same empower the employees for broad based action generate short term wins consolidate gains and produce more change anchor new approaches in the culture right so these are the eight steps you can model in your change management process this can be adopted you can read a book from john cotler on organization change management as well right so lean agile leaders should take input from these three dimensions the dimensions are leading by example mindset and principles and leading change I hope we discuss all these three dimensions in detail in this particular video. I would like to the people who are listening, the leaders who are listening this video to utilize the opportunity by applying these three dimensions in our day-to-day -day lives in our organization, work lifestyle, right? So with that, we have come to a conclusion of today's video. Hope you got a fabulous idea about. lean agile leadership why we need a lean agile leaders and what are the three dimensions of 
clean agile leadership and how one clean agile leader can contribute add value in all these three dimensions right by leading by example leading the change and then imparting the mindset and principles right so thanks a lot for uh, listening hope you like this video please put a comment of this video i would like to take inputs to improve on my delivery as well as my content okay so take care bye bye